Uh, so they, again, they, they write it in the most convoluted ways. They really need someone there who can just give us very clear English. What's up guys, Main Man Sui here, hoping you're all doing awesome as always, and oh my god, I hope you've registered for the beta. Apparently those of us who played the network test, which I think is all of us, massive nerds, uh, we don't have to register, re-register, right? I believe we get to play. Those who participate in and downloaded closed network test, hold on... July? Hold on to July. Hold on to that month. Don't let it go. Hold on to the sun. I wish I could, but Swedish winter is coming and it's gonna be dreadful. Will it be able to continue playing closed beta test? There's no need to apply again. Awesome. Awesome. And I, oh god, I want, I hope they're gonna co combat, um, uh, what are they called? Scalpers. Uh, I mean, famously, you could pay, certain people played a hundred bucks to pl uh, play the network test. It is prohibited to transfer, purchase, sell, or lend the closed beta test software or access to others. If those behaviors are discovered, the winning entrance eligibility will be voided. Okay, so we don't get to play the beta. Hmm. About closed beta test, this test will be conducted using the closed beta test version of Tekken 8, so that's a new version, obviously. For online gameplay players, we'll pass. Wait. Oh, Tekken Fight. L lounge. Lounge. That's how it's pronounced. Oh, so we're gonna have access to that uh, cutesy anime thingy where we run around. That's what I, I guess it is. A large-scale online visual lobby. Oh, so we'll have it in the beta. That's super cool. As well as aggressive battle system, which is the battle concept of this title. Right. If a number of testers succeed... Uh, mm, okay. The... the Earl for the web survey will be sent to the email address. Okay. This is the trailer. We've seen it. Uh, apply here. So there's the big button to apply. And here's the interesting stuff. Apparently there are a lot of changes since the network test. So battle part, heat system. Oh. Adjustments were made to make some op more options work effectively in aggressive tactics involving the heat system. You couldn't have written that in a more convoluted way. And this is someone who's read a lot of contracts while studying law. And their lawyers are the best at giving you a sentence that's impossible to comprehend. You reread it 10 times and you go, I have no clue what this man is saying. Adjustments were made to make more options work effectively in aggressive tactics involving the heat system. Okay, I'll take your word on that one. Uh, adjustment, the attack performance of Heat Burst with Heat Activation enabled has been adjusted. Heat Burst is what we've been calling the transition, the manual transition into Heat. You know, where you go, ah, with a close-up, and you go Heat, and your character can slam the opponent. Or you can cancel that and just, you know, go into Heat. The attack performance of Heat Burst with Heat Activation enabled has been adjusted. You can't heat burst when heat activation is enabled. If you press the same button again, you do a heat smash. So I'm a uh, buffed heat smash, I guess. Or the heat burst attack itself has been adjusted. So again, I have no clue. Uh, add, uh, I'm going to have to test that, I think, once this drops. Added the effect of withstanding the upper middle attack power crash. Added the effect of withstanding the upper middle attack. So not the mid one, not the upper one, but the upper middle attack to heat burst. Power crash. Oh, when they power crash me. Uh, oh, oh, they made, you beat mid and highs. Power crash performance. Okay, so heat burst is a power crush. Okay. Okay, so it, it's still... It already had a really fast startup, though. Um, so now it's extra safe, I guess, is what they're saying. Mm, okay. The behavior when using heat burst and heat dash together has been adjusted to suppress combos that are too long. 
Uh, so you probably saw this in the network test, like people could do triple bound combos, doing normal bound, that backflip screws them, normal bound, and then you had the heat burst bound, and then uh, you could do like a um, an attack into heat dash. So a heat engager into heat dash, and now that also served as a third bound option. And combos were ridiculously long. It was like wall to wall. It's It resembled tag 2 quite a lot, I thought. Uh, so this has been reduced. I think that's really good. I don't like the idea of eating a launcher and then for like 15 seconds you're just staring at the screen waiting to get control back. Uh, it has to be said well, that this was done once, right? But that's still enough, like, <laughs> once per round. That was too much. But in Tag 2, it was... You, you, 15 seconds, they do a combo, and then as soon as you're launched again, you're, it happens yet again. The heat timer is now reduced, even if the attack is blocked during the heat state. Okay, so you don't have infinite heat anymore. So in the network test or alpha, if you just kept doing attacks and they were blocked, your, your heat uh, bar stalled. It was like infinite heat. So basically, with Horang players, the meta was, as soon as the round starts, heat burst. And then they start, you know how oppressive his frames are, even on block? Insanely oppressive. Like, for other characters, it's plus 5 on hit. For Horang, it's plus, plus 5 on block. And he would permanently be in heat. And that's a problem. So that's good. Uh, heat timer consumption by enhanced attack in the heat state has been increased. Heat timer consumption by enhanced attack. Oh, all right. So this is also basically you spam these unbelievably powerful um, heat attacks, like with Claudio, his um, uh, super while running two, his um, his DP. Uh, you know, or Asuka uh, and Jack have a lot of really busted options. But so now if you do those, it will consume a, a, a much bigger chunk of your heat bar. So th this is super good. Also a really good change. Uh, God damn it, they're really nerfing heat. You know, so they already nerfed heat quite a bit from the alpha. Like alpha was ridiculous with the token system. Uh, so they, this is very welcome. And then battle system. In addition to reflecting adjustments from the CNT version to more advanced versions of the battle, additional adjustments were made to topics in the player feedback received in the CNT that were consistent with the battle adjustment policy. That's a mouthful. Okay, thank you for that. Improved performance of Power Crash. I'm thinking they mean Power Crush here. And I'm not entirely certain but Power Crush needs to be buffed. It's already really powerful. So I don't know what the imp improved performance exactly means here, if they get, you know, um, reversal frames earlier or hyper armor earlier, but okay. The performance of a reversal technique has been suppressed. We have also increased the number of types of techniques that cannot be prevented by reversal technique. The performance of a reversal technique has been suppressed. Is it this the counter? Universal counter parry. We have also increased the number of types of techniques that cannot be prevented by oh I think they've nerfed counters or reversals uh, Famously, you know knees and elbows are not seen seen as punches and kicks so they cannot be countered so I'm thinking they do less damage and also Even more moves now will be uncounterable it is my guess uh, this means Easier to input dash and back dash precedence? Okay, this is a big one. Only when the second directional key is held in. Uh, so they, again, they, they write it in the most convoluted ways. They really need someone there who can just give us very clear English. It seems to be a problem for Bandai Namco. Easier to input dash and back dash precedence. Only when the second directional key is held in. Do they mean it's easier to link back dashes together? Like to do a back dash cancel? I mean, it seems like that's what they mean. Or do they mean that back dashes have been buffed? Because that, that's something a lot of people want to see. 
Uh, sidesteps are stronger than in Tekken 7, but backdashes are definitely weaker. Certain characters like Jack, for example, sti still have access to a strong backdash, but for most characters, it feels very sluggish backdashing compared to Tekken 7. Um, and again, it's like, I, I think they should prioritize sidestepping. Like, this is a 3D fighter. I love that the sidestep is buffed. And if they give us a really strong backdash as well, like, this game could become, like, really defensive. Although maybe not, considering heat. Low parries have been nerfed. Magic fours are gone, you know? So it's like, they've nerfed a lot of your defensive options. But again, like, th those combos we did in, um... In beta, like, if, if you have... Uh, sorry, in network test. If you have a, a strong movement... And a big electric, like, the, the combos were ridiculous, but they've nerfed the combos, um, so it's, you know, it's, it's, not, it's more, there's more nuance to this than saying, oh, we, the better the movement is, the better the teching game is. The, the bigger the backdash, the better everything is. It's not that simple, but do I like strong movement? Yes, I do. Uh... So, well, we're gonna have to see what this means. This just seems like gibberish to me right now. Uh, so we'll test that in the beta, but we're looking at the movement. That's great. Restrictions were added to the combo after it hit the wall. Restrictions were added to the combo after it hit the wall. D you know, just reading this sentence, what it means to me is... If you wall splat someone on the wall, like, you have your back towards the wall, I do a demon pop, and you're wall splatted, I get a full wall combo. This seems to mean to me, if I do a combo, if I launch you uh, mid, mid stage, and I take you to the wall, now I only get one hit on the wall, and not the classic free hit. And when, I, when I'm just reading this, oh, you did a big combo and took them to the wall, so... Your wall options are going to be really limited now. That, that's what it reads to me like. Or have it just in general nerfed wall combos? No matter what. I don't know, but that seems pretty significant. Other behavioral and balance adjustments were made. Behavioral, okay. So balance adjustments, they've taken a look at all of the characters and they've uh, fine-tuned the balancing. Uh, going from alpha network test to beta. Really great news. I'm expecting a nerf to, for example, a lot of people really dislike Kalsia's new string. What I want to see on that string is that, um, I mean, he has like minus 20 on the last hit, but it, it shouldn't have pushback. Right now it pushes back like a death fist. No pushback should be there. Kalsia should end up kissing distance from your face and you kill him. Uh, that would be great. I'm expecting nerfs to Claudio. I'm expecting nerfs, some nerfs to Jack. Jin, uh, <laughs> I know Jin mains think he's fine, including Double Star, but that boy, someone needs to be a little bit objective here and say that boy needs nerfs. Devil Boy, Soy Boy needs nerfs. And you know what you also could do? You can make him interesting again. Because Tekken 7 Jin is a work of art. Like that, that character design is beautiful. Right now in Tekken 8, he's not even half as cool on paper in terms of the way he plays. So I honestly, if he if he I know I know Jin Mains love him, but honestly, if he stays like this, in my opinion, it's a, it's almost a character assassination to me. Um, I really disapprove of Tekken 8 Jin. And uh, my biggest gripe is not the fact that he's so strong, it's just that you, you took an interesting concept, an identity, and you turned it into mush. Like, oops. Uh, special style. Um, Alright, so this is the easy, easy assist mode. Uh, basically, well, I don't remember what button it was. You press like L1, and now you can do uh, signature moves of your character by just pressing one button. And this included Kazuya's electric. I have a variation of signature moves that can be performed with Zakazubai has been, I don't know why I went Russian, uh, has been expanded so that multiple moves can be selected and performed in combination with the directional keys. 
Oh, so you would do a signature button, uh, square, triangle, circle, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, and you would do four different attacks. So now, just like in Street Fighter, I think they did this, right? You can hold that direction, and now you can do even more moves. So assist mode, mood. <laughs> assist mode. I wish they had that. When I feel bad playing tech, can I have a bad session? Assist mode. And I feel great again. Uh, so assist mode is going to look more and more like the one they have in Street Fighter, uh, which is called, what was it called again? Modern. Modern. In addition to the lower attack that can be performed with circle, another four button, another lower attack or throwing technique can be performed in combination with the directional keys. Right. Adjustment, reviewed and adjusted the techniques that are activated by, without inputting directional keys. Oh, so we changed the, the main signature attacks uh, after some input from the community, I guess. Effect. Oh, right, the um, overbearing effects. Uh, again, this option was already in the network test. I took mo mine from... Uh, it starts out on heavy effects, and I put it on moderate, I think. I, or did I put it on low? Anyway, it the game was so much clearer. And uh, the game has been a problem as well for uh, streamers or YouTubers. Like, if you don't stream the game at a very high bitrate, like Twitch caps you at uh, 6,000, 6K bitrate. If you're a partner, you can get away with like 7, 8. But even that amount of bitrate is nothing for 60 FPS, 1080p, Tekken 8. It just, as soon as the characters start moving and someone gets a hit or heat, it turns into this blurry, uh, blurred porridge and crap because it's just way too oversaturated with fireworks. So the bitrate, uh, you, need, you need like a bitrate of almost 20k for it to look good. Um, it's a problem even in Tekken 7. No, it's not. Tekken 7 looks great. Like if you look at my Tekken 7 footage on my stream compared to my Tekken 8 footage, Tekken 7 is like crystal clear almost, and I used 8k bitrate. Whereas uh, Tekken, uh, Tekken 8 just looks like a mess. Looks like crap. But, uh, I, I know they've toned down the effects overall. You can already see this in the Feng trailer. Looks better. But uh, I think they've also adjusted your options now, which is really good. Uh, reviewed and adjusted the brightness of effects in general. This was clear in the Feng trailer. The shape and range of some effects have been adjusted to improve visibility. Thank God. Brightness has been significantly reduced when the effect brightness setting is set to low in the option. I'm probably gonna set it to low. Like, I like some of the new effects, but I much prefer the clear, classic way of Tekken where, you know, anytime I hit someone, it's not a Michael Bay Transformers explosion. So I'm probably gonna keep it to low. Also helps when you stream. Game just looks better. Uh, others, adjustments were made to items that were requested by many of the CT player feedback. Button settings can also be assigned to L3 and R3. Yeah, that should always have been there. Great. Custom presets are now selectable. Oh, we're gonna have presets in the beta. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Okay, so already the beta is going to have a lot of uh, significant improvement. Awesome. And I'm, I'm also hoping, you know, this is the first of two betas. I hope there's a second one as well. And we'll see what the netcode looks like. I, I don't think they even touch upon that here. Like, netcode changes. So it's basically going to be the same, I guess. Or does that come here? Come. Overall, matching anywhere, chat, emote. Mm. Profile, direct chat, friend request, rivals, follow, block, report. Oh, that's gonna be in the lounge. Oh, you can block people. <laughs> Name of the party song, the party song. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks. Battle area, ranked match, group match. Battle area. Ranked match, group match. Oh, is this tournament mode? Is that tournament mode? Will we be able to do that? Yeah, tournament mode. Uh, and you can spectate and do ghost match. Okay. 
and customization area. Avatar customization, player customization. Tech and fight money. Yeah, I have about 8 billion of those. Uh, ranked match, rank limitation up to 10 rank. Okay, so it's going to be up to warrior yet again. Quick match, battle tutorial, options, major setting, game option setting, rollback setting, cross-platform setting. Uh, screen setting, effect saturation is there, graphic settings, resolution, vsync, yes. Sound setting. Good stuff. Community, my profile, players who play together, friend list, follow, register, rival, block list. Oh, that's great. Test set contents, character stage, uh, from free characters, Raven. Oh, this is where I was a little bit hoping we were going to get Dragonov and Steve. Fuck. So it's the CNT guys. And they add Raven, Azusen, and Fengwei. It's a bit funny how we saw, a, albeit, you know, a quick trailer. Uh, they didn't get their own trailers. Dragonov and Steve. We, we've already seen they them. Given right? Gift subs in the channel. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for keeping me up to date. We've already seen them, albeit, you know, briefly, but okay, they're not included. That's disappointing to me. But it's still a 19 character beta. You know, that's pretty generous. So I'll be able to try Raven, Azucena, and Fengwei. Raven, I'm gonna, uh, sorry, Fengwei, I'm gonna be interested in seeing how dumb he is. If he's going to continue his uh, horrendous uh, legacy from Tekken 7 and still be jack of all trades with some a ton of straight up OP attacks. It was a bit distressing uh, seeing his uh, Shifting Clouds parry launch, launch in his trailer. Like, please, please, guys. Um, so, okay, it's gonna be cool. And then we have these boys back. I like it. Battle stage. Okay, these are the stages. Ortiz Farm. Would you like some cafe? Uh, you don't want to show up with tea there. Don't do that mistake. Uh, Ortiz Farm. Okay, so that's the only new stage. It's gonna be the same stages and an Ortiz farm. Okay. I would have liked to see the um, de white desert stage. Tag one references. White hand statue. Chains. Really cool. Uh, okay. So, God damn it. Come on. They showed it in his trailer. I'm um, disappointing. Um. And again, it's all, it's all only, it's one week and now it's not two, so, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to, uh, every hour is gonna count. Uh, players must be at least 15 years old, okay. So again, here are the system requirements, and it's probably going to be the same as a network test. And you have up until the 11th to register. And unless I'm mistaken, unless I missed something here, there are no notes of any changes to the netcode. So I'm guessing it's gonna be the same. Granted, it, it was pretty good. Like, it was definitely an improvement over Tekken 7 uh, after the PC boys stopped their stuttering. I think they were building their shader library. Um... Noticeably stronger than Tekken 7, but it's not Street Fighter 6. And it's not insert any modern 2D fighter. But I've also been told by people who know what we're talking about that there's a significant difference between a, a 3D data packet sending that back and forth. 3D geometry hitboxes. That's a heck of a lot more data than the more simplistic uh, 2D games. So, it's dumb to expect Street Fighter 6 netcode in Tekken 8. But we absolutely want them to do their best possible job, obviously. Um, but alright, I mean, a lot of great news. A lot of great news. And I can't wait to play the beta. It's, it's gonna be cool seeing the little avatar mode, what we can do with Battle Lounge. Uh, and also, obviously, I'm such a nerd for the balancing, so I wanna see what they did there. 
Kazia's Ford Ford 3 is now uh, lo gives a bigger launch. So I wonder if they nerfed other stuff to compensate or what happened there. Uh, we, we need Demon Godfist to be safe on block. But that's the buff we need. Uh, Spag said during ICFC that Battle Hub maybe has proximity chat. Maybe. Okay. Um, Alright. So, I don't know. We'll wait and see. But so anyway, really cool news. Can't wait to play the beta. And I, I'm sure you're as excited as I am. Super cool.